doesn't seem to be working. <laughs> Welcome to Mythical Kitchen, where dreams become food. Today, four <laughs> chefs enter Mythical Kitchen Stadium. Hungry, yes, for food, but mostly for battle. Stop holding the potato like that. <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> the secret ingredient for today's battle, potato. No, 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 no. you're gonna break your, your, uh, your teeth. Uh, I like it. <laughs> My <Who> hurts. <laughs> Two Jews enter, one Jew leaves. I think the stove might be warm. <laughs> this is Lock of Thunderdome. Yep, the stove's on. Watch it in your own peril. <laughs> okay, move your hand, move your hand. Okay, oh, we turned hand. the stove on. <laughs> I have won four, Nicole has won three, Trevor's won two, V's won two. Unless Nicole can best me today in battle. Potato! Oh gosh, she did it. Then I will be the ultimate victor. <laughs> Who will win this culinary battle of champions? I can't buy find it. out. <laughs> we're not doing that anymore. We're not doing this no, anymore. We're not stunning, so. I thought we were gonna cook this. It way. was. It was just for the intro. I could still do it. I'm pretty talented. Slowly. Okay, I know, but no, like no, no, slowly. No, no, no. I got it. I got it. Okay. This is safe. Two knives. Okay. Safe. We're making latkes! Latkes! But not just any latkes, we're making spicy tuna crispy latkes. Yeah, because we're fancy. Yeah, it's a play on spicy tuna crispy rice, which I always get when I go to sushi. How about you? I do. I like yeah, spicy yeah, tuna yeah, crispy yeah, yeah. rice. I'm a big fan. Yeah, that's why when you told me this idea, I was like, Nicole, yeah. that's the best idea Aww. you've ever had. Aww. You know how you guys do Wicked Smart? Because I'm Josh. And I'm Trevor. And we're Wicked, Wicked Smart. Smart. Can we do something similar? But but like really fancy instead of wicked smart, really fancy. Yeah, but what's better than really fancy? Um, um, what if we, no, that Hello has, Rich! <laughs> so I want to do a curse word, what but is I it? know- Whisper it, whisper okay. it. I'm Nicole, and I'm Trevor, uh -huh. we're bad bitches. <laughs> oh, you can say that, you can say that, you want to say <laughs> no, it? No, yeah, how do okay. you know? I don't think- I'm Nicole! And I'm Trevor. And, and we're bad bitches! bitches. <laughs> I liked it, I liked it. Sporked! You like mayo? You like mayo? They, Justine in particular said this mayo rocks her socks. Rocks her socks. And it rocks my damn socks too. Can I tell you one reason why? You can you can do a little design with a single line like this. No, hold on, on the camera. Or, or, hold on, hold on. Or you can do a star tip, you can do a little, little box. Wow, the versatility of this mayo bottle. <laughs> Go to spark.com, find out more about mayo. Chop up that tuna, I'm gonna get All this right. sauce going. Can I move the cutting board? Do whatever you need, me? do whatever you need to get comfortable. I'm gonna start with my sauce. I'm gonna add some mayonnaise, some sriracha. That's good. Some soy, and then some chili oil. So what's up, Trevor? Uh, you, well, you, <laughs> you told me to cut the tuna and I forgot where I was. <laughs> I, I started yeah. cutting it and I went into dreamland. Oh yeah? Um, I literally could not tell you what was going through my head for the last 20 seconds. Well, you're doing a really good job chopping. Do you think we should like cube it or do you think we should like hack it? Well, I was gonna cube then hack. Okay. Because I think that like hacking right now as I swing the knife near my hand yeah, yeah. Uh, isn't like the best idea. For sure, for sure. So. But yeah, I, I've been to some places where they, uh, they hack at it and I've been to some places where they cube it, but I like it hacked up. I like it hacked. I like it when it's yeah. nice and mushy. Um, I just added some scallion whites and some fish roe. Holy specifically, freaking balls, really? Specifically tobiko. Yeah, it's holy freaking fish balls. Okay, so you you told me that you wanted me to really just yeah, double knife it. this. Yeah, 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 go for it, go for okay. it. Okay. Ah! This doesn't seem to be working. <laughs> That is not how I imagined this going. Did you imagine it going that way? I'm a chef. <laughs> wow, yeah, so totally didn't just fling tuna all over the place. This was the plan from the start and it's yeah. going so well. For sure, for sure. And it's almost all nice and mashed up. Absolutely. Totally don't know what that other knife is for. Never even no, used that. No, 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 no. It's just for decoration. Tuna in it. <laughs> You happy? Yeah. How'd it get so sticky? I, well, it's fish. <laughs> um, Go ahead and scoop it in here, boss. Scoop it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here, and here. smell like fish. Yeah, they sure do. It's okay, it's okay fish. fish. Does anybody else get that? No, it's just me and you. Just you want more? A little scoopy more. Yeah, we'll give the rest to Josh. <laughs> you protein. Make it into a smoothie or something. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so let's just let this hang out for a little bit. Uh, let the flavors, uh, you know, introduce themselves to one wait, another. Wait, wait, wait. Check okay. this out, check this out, check this out. Hold on. What are you gonna do? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Shh, 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 shh. I need absolute silence. I need absolute silence. I, I need absolute silence. 
tuna man. It's like a snowman, but a tuna in it. We can cut. <laughs> All right, let's get to shredding some latkes. Quintessential part of the latke making process is taters. I'd say so. Okay. Some sort of root. Oh, that's too big. Oh. Here, let's see. There we go. I like to use this method instead of us uh, going around and using one of those box graters. You know, I'm trying to make latkes for like 15 people, you know what I mean? Yeah, this is fun to watch. It's a fun trick. A lot of people don't know that this attachment is actually very quick and fast, you know? It's good for shredding just about anything. Anything you need shredded, we can do it. That's right, I'm gonna add some onion in there too for a little bit of flavor because the secret ingredient to a good latke is a significant amount of onion. Yes. But you need that flavor in there. Okay, go ahead and turn it off. Oh. Got it. Okay, cool. Are you, gonna sh are you gonna shred the onion in there? It's already been shredded. Yeah, I did it already. Oh, you th you oh, did the hair. onion already. Go ahead and start taking this out and yes. just using your hands, you know, get in there and throw it in that strainer fixed with some cheesecloth. Are you a big uh, latka maker? Is this your first time making latkes? <laughs> it's funny because um, I know the answer. <laughs> Actually, yeah, this is my first time making latkes. That's cute, that's yeah. really cute. Look how much water comes out. Wow, yeah. it's yeah. like potato. Well, here's the thing, Nicole. This What's is my first thing? time making latkes, but I'm familiar with how wet a potato can get. Yeah, you are from, I. we're the perfect team. Yeah. A Jew and an Idahodian. That's what you guys Idahodian. are. You guys, that's what you all are called, but Idahodian? Yeah, Idahodian. Yeah, yeah. Wow, yeah. Look at you squeezing that tater like it's your booty. Beans. Beans what? It was a play, placeholder for a curse. I think I'm gonna get you another bowl. Frick. Hold on one second, you keep doing that. You keep squeezing away, buddy. Keep squeezing away, buddy. I have squeezed so many things in my life. This might be my toughest challenge yet. What's the toughest thing you've ever squeezed? Probably this. What's the hardest thing you've ever squeezed? That, uh, <laughs> um. Yeah, that looks fantastic. You take you take a little breather. You've been I working know, I, real hard. I have, I've been working hard. Yeah, um, all right. So I'm gonna start assembling my sushi rice spiked potatoes. What does that mean, you ask? Well, sushi rice is delicious. Yeah, one, true. Good, good point. You want to know why? Because they have a vinegar, salt, <laughs> and sugar mixture that goes in it, and yeah. it's really good, and it makes it really delicious. So we're gonna be emulating that by adding vinegar, yeah. salt, and sugar. And what kind of vinegar? I use rice wine vinegar. Rice wine vinegar. Yes. That would be common in sushi. Yes, correct. It would be common. Okay, I'm gonna add an egg. The thing about latka making is it's all based on the potato. Yeah. And you never know what you're gonna get. You know, you might get a really soggy tater, you might get a really dry tater right These now. This felt pretty soggy. I don't know. But like, you did such a good job squeezing them out. pretty wet. Oh, and a special ingredient. This is schmaltz. Schmaltz. For those that don't know, schmaltz is Yiddish for chicken fat cooked with onions over a long period of time. Is that the, just that one word means that whole sentence? Yeah, pretty much. I don't really have a dictionary handy. I have one on my phone, but I don't want to go look oh, at yeah. it. Oh, yeah. You want to help me shape yeah. some, some potatoes? Yeah. Okay, so I'm feeling like the size of my palm is like a Well, reason. but the size of your palm is much smaller than the size of my palm. That's true. Palm me? I feel like you went way bigger than the size of your palm because yeah, this probably. is the size of my palm. Probably. One. Throw it in there. What? Throw it in there. You psychopath! Why? Throw it in there. What are you so scared of? Oil? Okay, don't be scared. Come on, don't be a baby. Freaking nailed it. See? <laughs> I'm good. There's nothing so you can accomplish. Swagged out white boy, goaded with the sauce. That's right. You are goaded with the sauce. What does that mean? Somebody please tell me what that means. All right, so Trevor and I are gonna watch these latkes cook, give them a nice flip in about three, four minutes, and then we're gonna assemble our spicy tuna latkes. Let's do this. Get the gritty. Yeah, goaded with the sauce. <laughs> hey Trevor, did you notice my earrings? They're tuna sandwiches from Subway. It's really Subway. Are you yeah. a big Subway fan? I like to eat fresh. I hate Subway. You hate what Sorry. is wrong? What is with the Subway erasure? I think it's delicious. Do you know who Jared is? I'm making a flower. Oh yeah, Trevor's making an avocado rose. I used to do this at the bakery I worked at. I had to do these all the time. We had avocado toast, and anytime we made avocado toast, I would have to do one of these. You're kidding me. Yeah, and people really like avocado toast. They really, especially in California. Was this in California? Yeah, so basically what I'm doing is you just cut the avocado into thin slices, and then you spread it out, and then you just roll it up. I think that's a really nice thing to put on a single latke. That's really nice. Everyone, Thank please you. clap. 
I'm sweating. Please. I'm sweating. Thank you. All right, I'm, I'm gonna talented. take. Talented. I'm gonna take my warm latka and I'm gonna put a. Oh, well, we made latkes. I forgot. Yeah, I'm gonna take. Sure, you Sorry. I'm gonna put a freaking mountain. Is that from a Mimi? Uh, no, it's just like a thing that British people say. Tuner in it? A tuner in it. Tuner in it? Like, oh, that's tuna, isn't it? Well, they say like, they say tuna. Uh -huh. Like Tuesday. Uh-huh. Tuner. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Because they, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Don't ask me any more questions. I'm not going to regarding this. Um, <laughs> okay, thank you. Go ahead and put that avocado rose on top of that. Wow, stunning. Stunning. Wow, look at that. And then, and then a little bit of this. Oh my God. <laughs> Are you hitting the gritty? Yeah, because this is okay. sick. Hold on one second, I'm gonna hit the gritty too, but I'm gonna hit the, I'm gonna do quick, my song with it. Quick. <laughs> no, do it. Do it quick. Go to it with the sauce. Go to it with the sauce. Go to it, go to it, go to it with the sauce. <laughs> Alright. Yeah! Spicy tuna, crispy latka, read it and weep. You're you going it. down, They're Josh and push out of the Oh, frame. I'm sorry. Uh, you're going down, Josh and V, with your Stupid rendition on a latka. Stupid latka. Stupid. <laughs> Ours is cool. We hit the gritty while we were doing it. Get away with the sauce. V, we don't need any fancy tricks. No, we don't. We don't we need avocado need our roses. Hands. We need our hands and we need heart because we are cooking right now with love. We are cooking from our heritage. We are doing the ultimate Jewish Mexican fusion. Who are famous half Mexican, half Jews? Oh, shoot. Uh, Jonah Hill in 22 Jump Street. Oh yeah, that's a good one. That's yeah, a good you one. Know, yeah, you know. I have to really think about it. it. Anyway, so we are making a Huevos Rancheros latke. I'm so excited for this. Growing up for me, latkes were just like hash browns. It's like, oh, it's like a McDonald's hash brown, but instead of Irish, it's Jewish, and instead of a clown, I guess my grandma kind of had the perm looking like Ronald McDonald, you know? Uh, she still does a little bit. She does, you see my grandma. Yeah, yeah, she's a lovely woman. Lovely woman. She taught me how to make latkes, so we're gonna channel all that into this today. Uh, v, you so we're making like a Cotija Poblano tortilla chip latke as okay. the base instead of using like a tostada. And then we're gonna do some schmaltz refried beans, fried egg, ranchero sauce. Ooh, I'm so excited for this. I see good. I feel like there should have been like a Jewish and Mexican Power Ranger. We didn't have what that. What color was we it? We didn't have that representation growing up. What color you know would what I mean? it have been? I don't know, like you could have like a blue and white like uh, Jewish <laughs> Power Ranger, you know, and then like one just like wearing the Mexican flag, like he's rooting for L3, the soccer team. L3. L3, man. That's what their team name is? Do you, the the, number the, three? I don't know what three means, probably. Three, oh, it would have been tres. I'm stupid. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna bash the hell out of these tortilla chips. We're gonna use this instead of matzo meal. I think it's gonna add a really nice crunch. Yeah, I'm just adding lots yeah, of goodies. Yeah. We have some spices, some chili powder, some paprika, some garlic powder, some and- Cumino. Cumino and some salt. As Guy Fieri would say, he is Jewish. He said that? Fieri Steen? He had to shorten it at Ellis Island. <laughs> And right. Throw in some more cheese and throw in some more of All the right, I chile. Got you, got you, got you. The cheese should get nice and crispy like a parmesan. They call cotija parmesan. Say it again. De Mexico, cotija. Cotija. Co cotija. Lakas are all okay, about feel. Me, no, no, these feel, these feel all now. wrong. These are all wrong. Hold oh, on, hold on. They no, feel no, we're a little good. wet. Yeah, they're a little wet. You put they're a lot of They're not holding together. I think, or do, do, do we have masa? This is just turned Nicole, into a chop masa. batter. Nicole, help. Nicole, I know we were once enemies, but now we are friends when I decide I need something from you. Talk about relatable, am I right? <laughs> what, matzo or masa? Masa! Oh, no, I matzo, masa. Mas, masa, 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 masa. Hold, hold on, we're gonna add a little bit of masa to this. I knew somebody in my class that had the last okay. name masa. What, are you sure you're yeah. not talking about? Yeah. Never mind. What is uh, this see? smells incredible. Hold up, this is way too hot. We gotta add more in there. Okay, is that good? That's yeah, good? that's great, dude. D dump that Your in, grandma dump that would in. Be proud I think of we me? can grow. Yeah, yeah, she's like, uh, ow, fudge, man, that hurts. I'm hurt. scared. V, you can't be scared. You gotta, oh God, we have the power ah, of Mexico dude, ah. and okay, Larry ready? David on our side. Ready? Yeah, patron king of the Jews. Don't throw it, are you dude, gonna throw you're it? you're dropping so I know, because you're crowding me and you're gonna throw it. The, oh, ah. shit. oh, right in the face. The latkes almost maimed us. Oh yeah, they did. Did maim me. They said named us. I said, mm. <laughs> bro, it. Jewish God's angry. What have I done to deserve this? Sorry, God. Is it because I uncircumcised myself? You're making ranch sauce, yes, too. Yes, I am. Yeah, so I'm gonna start uh, with some butter. Ah, put the nice little graphics up. This is Vermont butter that the sport team recommended is the number one butter on their list. So we're gonna use it. Go to spork.com and see all your grocery aisle needs. 
Actually, I mean, like, actually, it's really helpful. We, like, that's the reason it exists. It is, it is. That. Um, I'm making some beans real quick. We have some black beans that we simply pressure cooked with a little bit of onion and bay leaf. And so now we're gonna do like a schmaltz refried beans. Schmaltz is schmaltz. Jewish gold. Not that kind of Jewish gold. Not the, that like. The one you wear? No, not that one. That's a myth. That is not all Jews. Some might, like, I don't know. I don't. Does Nicole? You okay, Nicole need, has a bag Cuban of Jewish gold around her neck. Like I don't a have thick that. One. But uh, no, schmaltz is rendered chicken fat. It is used a lot in kosher cooking. I just think it's the best tasting cooking fat. It is freaking good. Okay, so we're just gonna start frying these beans in the schmaltz. That's lovely. I wanna get them nice and toasty in the schmaltz. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt. A little bit of salt. I'm not gonna lie, I ate some candy off screen and now I'm not gonna be able to taste anything. So I got a bunch of candy taste in my mouth. What kind of candy was it? I found Whoppers. They're like my favorite candy. <laughs> Ew, they're so nasty. Yeah, that's why nobody else is eating them. And they, they've been there for months, but I can't, I'm the one that keeps going back. I'm gonna start mashing these up. I, I want these to be like a true like refritos, right? Like not not a not a puree. I want to be nice and chunky, but also liquidy and really fatty. Hugs your mouth from the inside. Anyway, I'm making a ranchero sauce. Uh, this is kind of like a nice little remix of my mom's recipe. Um, and I put some jalapenos in it. She doesn't make it hot because you know you gotta feed the children. This is blending both our heritages. This is where we can really bond on this. Is tummy issues. You Jews. have no tummy issues. No, what you know what's funny? No, 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 dude, check this out. You I will eat though. Everything. And my, you're brother, okay. my brother, my brother, Jonathan Zachariah okay. Sher. Like that's he, such he, he had no tummy issues for 33 years of his life, and then suddenly, the wrath of Jewish God yeah. came down upon him, and he literally called me yesterday. He's like, hey. Uh, my stomach hurts sometimes. And that's the most he's ever opened up emotionally to me, so that was big. I don't believe I've ever made salsa ranchero from scratch before. I've really? eaten it a lot. It's one of my, huevos ranchero is one of my favorite brunch dishes of all time. Most of the time when I'm eating it, I'm hungover because if I'm at a brunch, that means it's the weekend. Yeah. I don't have a problem, per se. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Um, but all I I'm saying no is, issues. you know, have you made this a lot? You said this is like a remix on your mom's recipe. How'd you remix it? Um, I use canned tomatoes. <laughs> she uses Roma tomatoes and adds tomato sauce, like canned tomato uh, sauce, yeah, you know, yeah. but this is damn near the same thing. Taste these and beans. And it's nice. Oh, let me add some spices. Dude, I got some cumin. Mm. I got some oregano, which I like a lot. Why these beans are 80% chicken fat and I love it. And I got God, some- God, that's silky and velvety. Gallo dip oil, my favorite salt. Love salt. Gallo yeah. dip oil, yeah. Yeah, I call it love salt. Why do you call it love salt? Because it makes love to my mouth. Is it love or lust? Does it need more salt? Tell me, or seasoning, it probably does. I was a little generous with it. I think you could use a little bit of acid. Yeah, do you still but. have it left? Oh, Sorry, dude. good enough. <laughs> you scurred me. I think it's getting there though. We're just gonna let this cook down for yeah. a little bit. Then we're gonna top our lakas? Yeah. Let's do top it. Top our laka. Do the gritty. Oh, God. <laughs> we have our cursed lakas. Yeah. We got our eggs simply fried, sunny side up. We got our schmaltz beans. We got yes. our chipotle ranchero sauce in here. Ooh. We got some avocado. We got some cilantro. We got some wine. Yeah. We got some cotilla. Yeah. Holy smokes, let's do this. Yeah, there's some building we're about to okay, do. Okay, it's nice and hot. All right, so we're gonna go schmear beans first. Yes, Wait, should we sauce the plate instead of putting the sauce on top? Or no, should we sauce on top? I like the sauce on top. Yeah, I feel it's way So it just doesn't dude. get like super sloppy, but it's gonna get sloppy toppy okay, okay. anyway. It's a little, what's wrong there's with a little sloppy toppy? There's nothing wrong with sloppy toppy. There's nothing wrong with sloppy toppy. You know, sometimes you can't, you can't always be clean out there when you cook. No. Oh. Perfect. Then, yeah. what's our next layer? What's our next layer? Egg. You want egg on top? Eggs. Well, I've, been, I've been singing a lot today. I don't know what's going on with me, dude. I don't even sing. I suck. What? No. Do you remember the time somebody tried to recruit you to be in an international girl group? Oh, yeah, that's true. That's yeah, a dude man. came up to me uh, at VidCon and was like, hey, I like the way you dress. You have to be part of my uh, girl group. I he is from Cracovia. <laughs> All right, so we're saucing directly on top of the egg? Yes. Uh, you leave this open, though. Like, right. you yeah, let it be thing. visible. Here's the thing, we're just gonna yeah, go there we go, there we go. Right across the top right here. Yeah. Ugly! Yeah, yeah, what? Ugly! Oh God, you, oh, Nicole you yelled at me! Yeah, because Nicole freaking Clean yelled up. at me, dude! Clean Nicole, that's not fair, three. this isn't basketball! Clean up on aisle three! Good movie. I wish I had those bangers! Bang, 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 bang! What is she talking about? She's talking about thunder sticks, but she doesn't know enough about sports! <laughs> bang, bang, bang! So she just calls them bangers! You want to follow me with the cilantro? Yes, I do. Beautiful, beautiful. One leaf. Two, three. St oh wow, so they like have I picked to be up unevenly a... spaced. <gasps> it's even. It's beautiful. Okay, love that. You want love me that. to put three on top? Yeah, yeah. Just do one. Just do one. Just do one. I like one. There it is. Oh. We were seeing Cheryl's Laka speaking to to my abuela and her babushka. Yeah, babushka. Your bubby. Babushka. Which one? Is, which one of us is Jewish? I am.
Gwyneth Stewart of Spork.com, do you promise to tell the truth and nothing but the truth, so help you Jewish God? I absolutely do, why would I lie? Uh, fair point. Would we all like to hold hands and say the Hanukkah prayer? Sure. Lead it, Josh. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam, esher kedeshanu b'mitzvatov v'vitzivanu lehed leek ne'er shel Hanukkah. Almost got it all the way Nice work. All right, Nicole, please present your dish. Sure, so what we have for you today, Gwyneth, oh is God. a spicy tuna crispy latka. So it's spicy tuna with a uh, sushi rice spiked latka, an avocado rose, and a little bit of scallion on top. Please enjoy. I'm so, sorry, chive on top. <laughs> okay, so what this looks like, what this reminds me of is a brown rock, which is, it's like a fried rice hat, like a little bit exactly. of fried rice with spicy tuna on top. Yeah, that was your inspiration, but we did it with latka. I know, you love it. <laughs> this Okay, so I want to get. I'm so scared of like messing you it up. You can mess it up. It's so Don't beautiful. worry about it. Go it's for it. So beautiful. Oh, thank you. I love it so much. Thank you. Enjoy. It's a big bite. It's it's okay. Eat it. Okay. Yeah. Mmm. -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's delicious. Oh. Sorry, I didn't mean to. <laughs> Josh made an audible noise. Happy. The creaminess of the latka goes so well with the creaminess of the um, of the tuna, and then the creaminess of the avocado too. Yeah, that's such creamy. A, it's a creamy experience. Creamy. Call Trevor the cream dream. <laughs> yeah, and I'm the cream lady. <laughs> Gwyneth, I'm so glad that your compassion overlooked their burnt potato. So what we have today, this is an infusion oh, of me. It's not burnt. It's not burnt. That's well cooked. Wait, well, you the same need a fresh, as yours. beautiful. Okay. This is a nod to V and I's heritage. I am Jewish and she is half Mexican. And I'm also Did you forget? Half, well, I'm half Jewish. No, I was teeing you up to say it, dude. Okay. Anyway, we don't fight like this normally. So here we have a cotija poblano tortilla chip latka. On top is a black bean and schmaltz puree, sunny side up egg, chipotle ranchero sauce, avocado cotija, yeah. cilantro, squeeze some lime on. Oh, and we actually have a, a, a table side presentation. We do, we take. Whoa. Yeah, girl, you get the, the special. He's gonna ruin it. What a stinker. He's gonna ruin it. it. You want to, let me concentrate. Can you let me concentrate that's for once? That's it, that's it. That's what it. sauce that's did sauce. you choose? Uh, we yeah, chose no, we'll Arizona Gunslinger Jalapeno Pepper Sauce. Only the finest for our guests. It's <laughs> <laughs> really good. Um, okay, and so I'm mm. liming it up. Okay, this is one of the most embarrassing things that could ever happen to me in my entire life. I feel like I'm really bad at using a knife. You can eat with your work. hands if you want you to. Yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna do what I did the last one. It just looks, yeah, I didn't want to just Hack into it, but I do want to break that yolk, mm. which makes sense, right? Yeah. Okay. Good job. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 It's a well cooked egg. Okay. Yeah. And okay. Well -cooked egg. It's a well cooked egg. Ooh, baby. God dang it. This wow. is so beautiful. I feel like your lot is actually very well cooked as well. Thank you so much. Thank you. As well. See. I meant like, yeah, food. like if you were calling me. Oh, yeah. Wendy knows what she's talking about. Yeah. She's an expert at eating. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. <laughs> mm. Yeah. There are so many flavors. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I mean, uh -huh. layers. Cooking is a quantity game. Layers. This is one of, this is delicious. Let's like, go. Okay, I'm allowed to take another bite of this one. To of course, miss. you you are free to eat however you'd okay, like. Okay, okay. Oh Too God, big to get in so a bite. This is so hard. Though, huh? yeah. What did he say? You're, you're the worst. What did he say? What did he say? <laughs> I wasn't listening to him. What did he say? He said too big to get in a bite though. Oh my God. I'm having one more bite of this one too. Am I taking too long? No. You are doing great. Only technically. <laughs> <laughs> Allow Josh's lack of support to also reflect the grade of his dish. Please. Yes. Please. I've made a decision. Ooh. Yes. Gwyneth, on three, two, one, when I get to the silent zero after one, you, from a descending count, you will put your hand over the winning dish. Three, two, one, silent zero. Yes! Yeah! Let's go! Yeah! You cannot handle We have Jewish God and Mexican God on our side, and that is something that can never be taken away from us. And V, you will what? now lead us in the in the Hanukkah, the closing ceremonies prayer. Okay, this was, they uh, were both. No, you don't want me to do this. This has so, it really just comes alive. There's so much going on. So, so much nice. is kind of our brand of yeah, cooking. it is. <laughs> I, lo I love this too. And the rose was the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my entire Thanks, life. Gwyneth. I'm gonna apply for BuzzFeed again. No, That's oh okay. my God, no, like actually gonna... don't. They, they're Fine. working, they're, why do you think there's so many why I left no. BuzzFeed videos? <laughs> Anyways, Nicole just led mythical, so <laughs> if you are the next senior culinary producer, send your applications down. I can, Nicole, come I'm back. That's what I thought. <laughs> Nicole, please come back.
I figured uh, I was here so I could just take her place. But. Yeah, it makes sense. It makes sense. Uh, Gwyneth, thank you so much for being our judge. Uh, happy Hanukkah to everybody out there. Happy holidays. Everyone, Nicole and Trevor, valiant effort. I'm so sorry. We did the only reason I talk so much crap is I thought we are going to lose. Suck. Yeah, but you suck. You suck. You suck. You suck. I get it. And that's the real holiday spirit. That's right. Another bite. Mm. <laughs> Thanks for subscribing. If you haven't, screw you. Get Crazy. <laughs> You're too hot to handle and so is your bakeware. Get a Mythical Kitchen Oven Mitt available now at mythical.com.